Welcome back folks and welcome to Wheel Peaver. So I'm going to give you a little tour around here and explain what we've got and what we can see and then at the end of the video there'll be a bit of drone footage. So we'll start off at the middle engine house. Now we've been here before folks, I know that, but uh, I just thought it'd be nice to do a quick update of the location. You can see that we've been here before because that's our old stickers by the way. So this is the pumping engine house right here. It looks like uh, some bit of the lintel there's come out. That's actually where the support bob would have been. Uh, I think that's the steam inlet valve pipe right there and that's your entrance into from the boiler house which was right here. Two Cornish style boilers which were producing steam for this engine house. This engine house here uh, which doesn't really get a lot of attention this is the winding engine and that's where they would have had the winding drum outside and uh, they would have wound the men up and down in the shaft. So there is a picture here of the actual winding drum still in situ there and you can see the rafters are still there taken a few years ago now so it looks like uh, some parts of the engine have deteriorated like there's a lintel up there which was because this was quite a small engine by the way folks that lintel up there some stone has come loose look see it there it's, it's not very good is it so it looks like they will be repairing those because that happened over at Hawks Engine House, Killy Frath, um, a couple of years ago. A beam like that came out, but they did repair it, so it's all good. So uh, the council have got a duty of care, which is good to see, folks, because, uh, you know, if these are left go like this, then uh, it's... Because the, they're monuments, monuments to Cornish history. So they need to be kept up. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. So, the shaft for this mine was right here. And I think it's called Fedrick's shaft. I think. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. But there's the shaft. And it goes down quite a way. So, uh, and there is pigeons in there. Frederick's shaft, yeah, I was right. Right, so just put you there for a second, folks. I will be back. Right, okay, so we're back. So there's the shaft, as you can see. So, uh, so now we'll head over to the Stamps engine. So this, this mine is typical of a Cornish mining site in the fact that uh, it wasn't just one engine, it wasn't just two, it was three. Now, most big mines here in Cornwall would have had three engine houses. Now, you might, you might be wondering, well, why, why the hell have they got three engine houses? Well, number one, the pump. The pump would have worked 24 hours a day because of the water in Cornwall. The water table is very high. Water's a barrier. So that's why the pumping engine was manned 24-7. So there would have been a team of boiler men stoking and a team of probably a one or two drivers in the engine house, which... Uh, would have kept the engine oiled and kept it going basically so there would have been when this mine was working there would have been people on here 24 hours a day <coughs> <coughs> excuse me so this engine here as i said before this is the stumps engine so this would only been running during daylight hours so early in the morning they would have started this engine up and until kind of like this time during the day when when it would be uh, shut down and oh they're new that's good shut down so first light and end of light 
that's when then of course the boiler house which was there um the fire they, they probably just put a, a small layer of coal on at the end of the day and then by morning just shut the damper and in the morning just scrape out the ash there probably would be still a good few embers still burning there so just chuck more coal on and away she goes again so the boiler would never have got cold the boiler would have stayed red hot so what we're going to do now is we'll go down here so we'll be back in a second folks okay so we're further down now so this these were calciners folks these are for roasting ore for the gathering of arsenic now arsenic was a byproduct and uh, it looks like this little room that we're in now looks cement lined so this is probably a little office or something like that I should imagine uh, We'll just get around here a minute. A bit fiddly around the gorse. There was a massive fire here last summer. Burnt quite a bit of the old gorse down. So. So obviously these have been derelict like this for a long time. I do remember them when I was a kid and uh, there was two floors in this there would have been a fire underneath uh, but I'm not really keyed up on how they worked but I believe it's some kind of grinding stone now whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong all I'm saying is I don't know all there is to know about these because it's something that's kind of bypassed me processing of the ore and so on and so forth so you know right let's get over here a minute because uh, there's a notice board here so that might tell us because we've come in the wrong way really I believe they are calciners I was right way hey there you go folks so this was taken when they were in better condition and like that office i said about is right there which is in real terms over there there you go there you are look i was right i said it was some kind of grinding mechanism so they put the material in here it, this turns around which i think there's a fire in there let's have a look flew to labyrinth yeah there would have been a fire in here in here there you go and that would have sent the heat over which roasted roasted it and then the byproduct which is the smoke would have went to a flue like we did at um pole dice recently remember we was over there fairly recently weren't we that goes to a labyrinth now i don't know where the labyrinth is but um they would have harvested the arsenic which was gathered on the walls folks Hey, Kurno is on it, isn't he? I, I wasn't sure about that because this is something that we really don't know a lot about. But obviously, what I said was right, wouldn't it, folks? So, I think what we'll do now is we're going to go and backtrack and we'll go and fly the drone. So, hope you enjoyed the video. But, like I said, what I just said was on the money. You know, like I said, I'm not an expert on this, but I got it right, didn't I, folks? so let's get down here shall we without falling on one's bum there we go get down here right you know oh this is a bit awkward oh. Oh. right okay right we're going to be back in a minute we'll uh we'll get the drone up folks and then uh, that'll be the end of the video so i hope you enjoyed it if you're new, don't forget to like and comment and please subscribe, it does help. And uh, yep, the next bit you see will be the drone footage. See you in a bit. Right, so we're gonna get ready to take off folks. 
with the drone. Just thought you guys might like to see that. Okay, we're good to go.
So that was Wheel Peaver. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we will be back later in the week. We've got some other stuff on the back burner folks so watch this space. We'll see you next week. From Wheel Peaver, I bid you farewell. Cheers and gone.